All right, we went back. Is everybody ready? Are you all ready for this? Here we go. Uh, so my process is gonna be kind of the think aloud method um, where I just talk my way through it or I just play it. I don't know, I'm mostly just playing the game. This flash screen is fantastic. I love the simplicity of it. It's like it's just going through some several moon clips. So already, and this is spoiler if I'm not haven't seen this before, I'm getting the the space vibe, right? <clears throat> Let's hop in. to interact so already I told what to do oh, looks like some windows are opening and I oh I can look around kind of groggily before I start uh, moving forward I'm gonna kind of check out where I am turn it around it looks like I'm in some kind of space canister as uh, space games have taught me it looks like I've been asleep in here and we're gonna walk out really quiet a little bit of ambient music might help here but this is oh crap what is that and see a creepy shadow up there I'm gonna look and see if I can go the other way I hear my footsteps that's great uh, nope 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 can't go the other way so it looks like already you're forcing the player to do something they don't want to do. There's no escape. So here's a question, like could I just stand here for a long enough time and that shadow might leave? Which that would give me an indicator that it's safe to go forward now. Time to make a friend, says Alien Toy Shop. Yes, those are people pods. There's one that I can almost peek through. Uh, it would be cool if, I don't know. Maybe it would be cool if there was someone sleeping inside. I don't know what the, exactly the, the plan. Oh, oh crap, dude. Be careful what you wish for, my friends. That is sad, poor guy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, it's exactly what I wanted and I got it. Uh, so that is what's gonna happen if I stay in my pod. So uh, there's one that's half open. It looked like maybe someone. Oh, it would be interesting if it looked like uh, had some broken glass or some indicator that someone kind of broke their way out. And then you have my pod. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Deep breath. The shadow. Do I dare look what is making the shadow? Um, I don't see anything. But the shadow's there. Hmm. Where's the shadow coming from? Still there. Okay. If I move back. Okay, so there's a creepy shadow, but nothing that's making the shadow. I heard something. Okay. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. So that may be a bug, I'm not sure. Uh, but Creepy Shadow is less creepy now. Okay, I can hear some noises coming on. So there's a little space suit man sign there. Thought maybe I could interact. So already I know that I can interact with things, so I'm kind of looking for more interactions. All right, this is cool. Got the spacesuits. Such a beautiful game. Okay, and this one is lit up, the lighting's a little more sharp on that one. The Luna.OS version 1.2, 00.1, property of Company Inc. established in 1972. So that kind of gives us a, a date. All right, 
Let's do this. Let's do this. So, anybody just hopping in, we are playing uh, one of the student games from the University of Utah, uh, Entertainment, Arts, and Engineering. This game is called We Went Back. Tattooed Metal, I do not grade them as I uh, stream them. This is strictly playtesting for them. So, uh, believe it or not, we actually do not grade their games. Um, so the whole idea with the program is it's a virtual studio. So what they're doing is learning how to work as a team to publish a game. So the only requirement for the class is that you work as a team and you develop a game on your own and you publish it. So the purpose of these, these uh, me streaming their games is strictly to, to play test uh, give them feedback, and then they can take that feedback as they will. I'm also hoping to give them a little bit of exposure, too. Uh, like I said, this game is a coffee cup. All right, so it says I can interact with it. This game is going to go on to be showcased at the, the Intel um, competition at GDC, which I'm pretty excited. So move the mouse button to rotate. And, okay, and I took a picture of it with my space camera. And it disappeared into my inventory that is uh, not retrievable at the moment. So Pepperoni says he remembers all this stuff untextured. Nice. Yes, it was looking legit awesome. So here's some space plants. So I'm walking through this game kind of slow because I haven't seen it for a while. And all this visual stuff really interests me. So it looks like as we go forward, there are different stages of life with these plants. They look pretty. So everything has still been growing. There's enough light to keep them alive. All right, let's keep going. Uh, tattooed Metal comments, this is a really beautiful game. There's a cork board here, nothing on it. Uh, I agree, Tattooed. They have done a really good job with the visuals. It's really coming alive. Okay, I can hear the Doppler sound here. Um, I have never been a fan of how this chair blocks your pathway so much. That one's a little bit better. But this really seems like uh, anti-affordance, like it's supposed to be keeping you away from it. And maybe there's a reason for that. Don't do this, but you could almost put some physics on that so it kind of bumps out of the way or you could push it back in. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where are we going? We found a door. Good students because of good teacher. I, I appreciate that, but I cannot take any credit. These, uh, I, I have the philosophy of letting talented people do talented things. And really, um, they deserve all the credit. That needs a little bit more sound. So now it's the camera just... So once you interact, I'm pushed through the door. I think that's a good move. That way you ensure that the door locks behind the player. And it looks like I am back where I started. So the creepy shadow is gone now which is good because I was creeped out. And let's do this. So that is where I saw the gen the shadow before. I love this look. So this is the whole roundabout that I took. So my idea, it looks like I'm on the moon. The uh, textures seem a little bit down res. And the specular is a little hot on them, making it look kind of plastic. All right. Back through the same corridor. Oh, this the music beats are creeping me out. It's darker now. The darker. Oh, crap. Oh, I just pooped my pants. Okay, so there's a creepy alien there. 
and it's making a really helicoptery creepy sound. So here's the question. What would you guys do? Would you stick around? I kind of feel like I want to run back. So what if you start running back and that door closes on you? I don't know if that's part of the game, um, but immediately I feel like running all the way back. Here's that door I wanted to get to. Run after it. Somebody's telling me to run after the... the... Okay, what is this? Admin, password. Okay, that didn't work. And I'm stuck. Okay, here we Wait, wait, what happened? So I don't know the password. Okay, so I was given the, uh, I was told to run after it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, I'll try that next time. Awesome. Maybe that would work. Okay. So, so somebody just told me to run after the creepy alien. That is super creepy. Like, maybe he just wants to be friends. I don't know. In this dark, uh, scary room. Uh, let's find out. Ah! What? Okay. So, it's a ghost alien. Because he just passed right through me. Okay. It's purring like a kitten. Yes. Is this the audio? I guess is coming through. Uh, so that just creeped me out. Password should have been password. I'll try that next time. Um, I don't know if the lunging after you is the right move, um, but I don't know. It seems like he should like run away. Okay, so this cork board is different now. Different as in it's got gross uh, cockroaches all over it. I'm trying to interact with them. That's awesome. Okay, so that for anyone who has uh, bug fears, this should uh, this should I should do it. Tattooed Metal says he's legitimately intrigued by this game. Well, Tattooed Metal, you should follow them on their social media accounts then, because. It's only going to get better and better and creepier and creepier. All right, here we go. We're coming to the next door. Ooh. Sly Landro, thank you so much for the follow. And thank you so much for the sub. Oh, you are awesome. I super appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Okay, so wait, where am I now? So this just closed up into the plant room. And the plants have all grown, and everything is clean. Ooh, this is a trip. So this is like the clean, pristine version. Like I'm at some point in time when things were in better shape. I would love it if I had like some kind of like beamy elevator music, the kind of like happier tones, right? These are the better times. This is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going through the same the same thing again. Okay, those are the same plants. Um, and now they're dying. Oh, no, they're in just different stages of life. Okay, what? What is going on? This is a trip. The name of the social media. I will post the links in just a minute. If there's anybody from We Went Back. Uh, okay, I hear the creepy alien music again. If anyone from the game dev team is on, please share your uh, social media. The chat is asking for it. I am busy playing your game, which is very pretty. Okay, so I keep going through here. Everything looks exactly the same though. Am I supposed to be doing something? Okay, now it's getting dark. Maybe it's getting dark. So Pepperoni says he loves the space in this game or the reuse of it. Okay, okay. I found another door. I found a closed door. Was I supposed to pick up something in there? Okay, I'm pushed through. And I'm in the same place. 
something up. Alien Toy Shop says something up top is open. Indeed it is, but I cannot access it. Good catch. Okay, so the door closed. Maybe I'm supposed to be maybe I'm supposed to notice something that I haven't noticed. Hey he Jay, this is a thesis um, projects class for the graduate students at the University of Utah. I am playing their uh, thesis game right now. I'm told to click all the things. So I've been taught, there's that sound again. I can only click when it says interact. I am clicking all over the place. And there's that creepy sound again. I'm assuming uh, if I was supposed to click something, that interact button would pop up. Chaos in a lunchbox, thanks for sharing all your deets. This is beautiful. So I feel like I've missed something, something important. That was really cool. It felt a little long, unless I was supposed to find something. Let's see what happens when I open this door. And I'm in the same place. Can I go? Let's try something different. Can I go back through? Will that interact button come up? Or am I always supposed to go in the singular direction? So. I get the impression that this whole game, I can only move uh, this way. Oh, I have the photo function, but I don't know how to use it, right? So I, so legitimately, I haven't, I haven't uh, played to this point of the game yet. So this is good because I'm a new uh, playtester, and so I've been through this level about uh, this set of doors about five different times. At this point, I'm looking around, seeing if there's anything I can click. Any indicator that I may have missed? So we saw the spot on the ceiling, and I tried to... Okay, here's that sound again. There's supposed to be a bulb. Okay. So I got some help from the uh, chat that there's supposed to be a bulb. And where that bulb is, I'm not sure. So here's that noise. So it kind of makes me think that maybe it's supposed to be here. So it's going to keep sending me through until I see that bulb. You know, one thing you could do as game makers is make that bulb more visible. The, the more times that the player misses it. Like eventually, at this point where I've gone through five or six times, it might just be sitting in the middle of the floor. Um, so the feedback I'm getting is very intriguing. They want to play. So I'm not going to restart um, because it looks like we're missing a bulb. Let's see if you can. So because a it's already five after. So I think this is really good feedback so far. And because we built up this intrigue with the uh, with the chat and I don't want to lose that by restarting the game. So the plan is uh, I'm going to be doing these playthroughs before class um, Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday so I can get through the entire thesis games uh, once a week. Which means we didn't get to Chromalition today, which means that I will most likely be doing a, a lunch stream in a little bit. I might stream it like around 11 o'clock. We have uh, some guests coming to visit from 12 to 1 who are going to be talking about their experience at some AAA companies. Uh, and we don't want to miss that either. KS on a lunchbox, thanks for the work you're doing on this. You were, this is awesome. Hopefully the feedback I've given so far is helpful. And hopefully uh, those of you in the chat have enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, Chaos, feel free to share your um, 
share your links again. Uh, this is great. Okay, so I think I'm stuck, which is fine. Uh, for anyone listening, this is um, this is game development in a nutshell. Uh, little game breaking bugs happen. This kind of thing is perfectly normal. Uh, and part of the reason for place testing in the first place is just to continually play and refine. So now the developers can see those issues, they can adjust them, and the next time I play the game, those won't be there, and then we can progress in the game. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this. This is one to watch for sure. Uh, it's looking beautiful. Those, the, even those moments with that alien, uh, just uh, they freaked me out. I am legitimately freaked out, and this is, uh, this is awesome. So thank you everybody for watching today. Uh, if you uh, did get a chance, shoot me a follow. Check out the, the student games in the list as well as uh, I'm going to repost um, our other games so that you can check those out. So like I said, uh, we've got a website. Uh, I've created a blog page with all of our student games. So if you look at this, we've got our, our master's, master's thesis games all right here. Chromalition is what we're going to check out a little bit later and um, as well as our undergraduate games. Uh, they've got some super cool ones. They've got about 11 undergrad games, and I will be playing those throughout the week as well uh, to give them feedback on their games. All of their information is there if you want to check it out. Yep. So Pepperoni did the, uh, the command for blog. I'm going to get that updated on my Nightbot Pepperoni so that we can do that. Um, all right, thank you so much. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go uh, teach uh, class or at least uh, pretend to for a little bit.